FTP is widely used in transferring large amount of data over the internet. WinSCP is a very popular free FTP client. It supports FTP, FTPS, SFTP and WebDAV protocols. In this video, we will talk about how to use WinSCP to connect to an FTP server. First, you must have the FTP server name or IP address and an account. If you don't have an FTP server, you can easily sign up for a free trial on drivehq.com. DriveHQ is one of the largest FTP hosting service providers, offering DriveHQ FTP for businesses and Camera FTP for security cameras. Now launch WinSCP, click New Session, it will display a login window. Enter the FTP host name, username and password. The default protocol is SFTP, and the default port is 22. If you use DriveHQ's FTP hosting service, the SFTP host is profp.drivehq.com. If you need to connect to this session regularly, you can click Save to save it as a site. Now click Login, it will log into the SFTP server and display the remote storage in the right hand side. You can easily drag and drop files and folders between the local and remote panes. To connect to an FTP server with the plain FTP protocol without encryption, you can click New Session or New Site, then select the FTP protocol and No Encryption. Enter the FTP host name, username and password, then click Save to save the site. Click Login, it will log into the FTP server using the plain FTP protocol. The plain FTP protocol is not secure. It should only be used in a few limited cases. FTPS, that is, FTP over TLS, is very secure. There are two slightly different encryption types, FTP over TLS implicit and FTP over TLS explicit. The explicit FTPS uses the regular FTP port 21. The FTP client will send the start TLS command to start TLS encryption. The implicit FTPS uses port 990. It uses TLS encryption from the beginning. Usually there is little difference. In some rare cases, if the FTP port 21 is blocked by your firewall or your ISP, the implicit FTPS might still work as it uses port 990. To connect to an FTP server with implicit TLS encryption, enter the FTP hostname, username and password then select the FTP protocol and select TLS Implicit Encryption. Click Save to save the site, then click Login, it will log into the FTP server. Not all FTP servers support both implicit and explicit TLS encryption. If implicit TLS encryption does not work, you can try explicit TLS encryption. The steps are the same. SFTP supports login with a key file. It is usually considered more secure than a password. To log in with a key file, you need to have an SSH key pair, which includes a public key and a private key. The public key can be distributed to anybody, the private key must be private to yourself. If you don't have a key pair, you can use DriveHQ's built-in feature to generate it. and download the private key file. The public key is automatically saved in the SFTP server. You can also use PuttyGen or SSH KeyGen to generate it. You need to keep the private key file and save the public key to the SFTP server. To log into SFTP server with a key file, click New Session, select the SFTP protocol, Enter the SFTP host name, username, and password, then click Advanced. In the Advanced Site Settings window, click SSH Authentication. Then click the Browse button to select the private key file you downloaded. WinSCP needs to convert the private key file. After the conversion, select the converted private key file and click OK. You can then click Save to save the site, and click Login to connect to the SFTP server with the key file. If you use Camera FTP's cloud recording service, you can also use WinSCP to download the recorded footage. 
You just need to use the FTP server name ftp.cameraftp.com and log in with your camera FTP username and password. Not all FTP servers support all FTP protocols. Microsoft Windows servers often do not support SFTP. Some Linux servers may only support SFTP. In those cases, you can try both FTPS and SFTP.